my vineyard. Majordomo? 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 Welcome home, sir. Majordomo? I am Barnabas Basil Fauti. By order of the Duchess, I shall serve you as Majordomo of Corfo. Majordomo, okay. I previously served with distinction at the Nibli family manor and in Nazaire with Admiral Rompali, who, as you are certain to know, is an extraordinary demanding gentleman. Whoa, Barnabas Basil. One thing you ought to know, I'm not your typical landed gentleman. Truth be told, this is the first real property I've ever owned. Oh, in that case, you must leave it all to me. I shall We're in the same glasses. See to everything and whip this is awkward. Somebody's gonna have to change. I dare say this place will soon be the most prosperous vineyard around. Great. Can already see I'm in good hands. Tell me more about it. Vineyard comes across as a place with a rich history. Know who owned it before me? Baron Rossell, who went bankrupt, forcing him to sell the estate to the Duchess. The Baron, in turn, had purchased it from Monsieur Bolius of the Headsman, a truly colorful man of Kedweni origin. He was actually a Headsman? No, not him, but his great, 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 great grandfather. Indeed. Apparently, he was a common cut purse who somehow secured for himself the post of Ducal Headsman in Beauclair. Went about his work with an exceptional penchant. They say he chopped off more heads than there are grapevines in the Ducal Vineyards. He never hesitated, not once. Never sliced unevenly, never botched a job. For his exemplary service, the Duke granted him a title and this estate. Monsieur For Bolius, on the other being hand, a headhunter was an engineer headsman. in his younger years. Once retired, he settled here and took to producing wine. Sadly, Misfortune struck, and he lost his sense first of smell, then of taste. Additionally, he could not drink alcohol. His medic forbade it. Shame that. He gave up making wine? Not at all. He made even more of it. Began throwing wild balls to which he'd invite friends from far and wide in order to treat them to his wine and delight in the fact that at least someone could enjoy it. It's the sort of man he was, Monsieur Bolius. Oh, that's cool. Show me around the place. Mind giving me a little tour de Corvo Bianco? Not in the least. Follow me, please. I think it would be practical to begin on the hill. So you work for me now, right? Then I order you to take off your glasses. Because I want to be there wearing the these. In all its splendor. Pretty vast. Indeed. And now, sir, allow me to show you a handful of interesting details. Follow me, please. Been a major domo all your life? Yes, I come from a long line of major domos. My father was a major domo, as was my grandfather before him, as was my great aunt. In fact, she was the one to start the tradition. Great aunt? A hard woman. It is said that already as a child, she knew where she was going. And went there. When she arrived in Beauclair, she signed on as a chambermaid at one of the vineyards, then slowly worked her way up to Major Domo. She dragged the Is it just like a groundskeeper? The same path. The servants quarters. I occupy the green home. With the Duchess's permission, I have hired a full staff. Their salaries to be paid from the Ducal Treasury. Nice of her. Not I like the that. Most sightly part of the estate, I admit. But I think it's worthwhile for you, as master of the domain, to know where the help stays. You stay in there, where the chickens are coming out of. Good God, cat! Freak me out. Baron Rossell ordered the vines in this part of the estate uprooted and olive groves planted in their place. They look beautiful, especially come spring. Don't look at all bad now, either. It's not spring. Down below lies your vineyard, where we grow a strain of carfinere. Mm, peacocks down there. Of the right there. Oldest, aged in oak barrels. 
It provides for an exquisite wine with distinct blackberry, wild cherry, plum, and cinnamon notes. Marvelous. Have to try it one of these days. Nice well. Picturesque. Yes, though it ran dry long ago. During the raucous feasts Master Bolius held, he would order it filled with wine. Well filled with wine. About a guest attending Seems kind of nice. For the first time and thus unaware of the custom. He had suffered great heartbreak and had decided to end his life by jumping into the well. The festivities were coming to a close and the well was nearly empty when the suicidal guest finally jumped. Instead of killing himself, he merely broke his legs. To numb the pain, he drank the wine. Drank himself to death? <laughs> Not at all. When found the next day, he had concluded he'd witnessed twin miracles. The water had been changed into wine, and he had survived. He retired to a monastery in the Dragon Mountains, and began preaching the wisdoms of Lebioda. The guy didn't know that the well was filled with wine and not water. So he jumped into it and broke his ankles. And then drank the water to survive and found out it was wine. So he thought it was a miracle. A supremely lovely place it was. Bit neglected now. I agree. Oh yeah. Nothing stands in the way of restoring it to its former glory. And once again, planting it with herbs and other vegetation. Madame about here. planted diminutive, delicate flowers and herbs here. One might say their aroma still hangs in the air. You're quite the romantic, Barnabas. You're not really leaning up against it. I want you to take off your glasses, dude. Because now when we go out and throw parties here, everybody's going to think we're matching on purpose. And that is so not the case. This served as an additional wine cellar in years of plentiful harvests. Hmm. Bit of work, and it'll make a fine stable for Roach. Oh, that's cool. We can talk about the morgue downstairs. The cellars, voila. During Monsieur Bolis's time, wine was kept here, but Baron Rossell used it to store olive oil as well. I took the liberty of cleaning up the mess which I made while fighting the Bruxa. Thanks, Barnabas Basil. Appreciate it. Si, senor. Keep on walking. Now you're gonna give me a tour of the house itself, where I will be staying. As you can see, the facade is... how to put it... Slightly stained, but one cannot deny it a certain subtle southern charm. True, though it could use a bit of subtle paint. Aye, it could. Oh, this. That's what we're talking about. Just force push that door open. And welcome inside. On the left is the master bedroom. On the right, the dining hall and kitchen. Upstairs, you shall find the guest room, currently used for storage. Not a bad idea. At the moment, the house is only minimally furnished. Yet I believe we will, together, devise some innovative arrangements. A few paintings, for instance, would breathe new life into the abode immediately. Good thing I just yes, got the sir, best painting the in the world. The land. Corfo Bianco is a beautiful estate. One must admit, time has taken its toll. If, if, forgive me for being forward, but if you were to choose to invest a small sum towards its beautification, consider me at your service on the matter. Think I'll take you up on that. Be sure to come and see you if I decide to do any remodeling. 
think we could do some renovating? The place could stand to be spruced up. Almost decidedly, sir. The question is where you would like to begin this rejuvenation. Do some work in the house. Been thinking about the outer walls. Maybe a fresh coat of paint or some patching. If I might dare to make a suggestion, why not start with a general renovation? I once oversaw such work at Admiral Rompelli's summer residence. The effects were simply breathtaking. Not only did the residence positively sparkle afterwards, but we also made room to display the Admiral's armor and weapons, of which he was a passionate collector. 5,000. Nope, never mind. Hmm. Need to think it over some. I understand, of course. As the venerable Lady Eve Knibli would so quaintly put it, the rash oft contract rashes. That's weird. We'll discuss this later. Uh, so long. That's all for now, BB. Thanks. BB. <laughs> Can I put that painting somewhere? Can I put it over my bed? Oh, it's my bookshelf. Okay. Ooh, hang painting. Oh, should I put it right over the bed? Right there. Let's go right over the bed. Oh, it's not right over the bed. But it's going to go right here. Oh, yeah. Portrait of Geralt. And then Ravix of Four Horns Shield. Why can't I place any trophies? Do I not have I thought I do have trophies. This is my stash. See, all these are trophies. Let me go into this and deposit these trophies. Okay. Can I spruce up in here or is this just nothing? This is nothing. This is where I can put more paintings. Extinguish. Is upstairs where I can do something? This is just the guest room. Okay, I would need to restore it in order to put my armor anywhere. Because I would put sets of armor down here. All my Witcher armor and everything. Oh, this is an armor stand. See, so yeah, let's put Ravix of Four Horns. There we go. Because I'm not going to wear that again. I like it. And I don't have any money to restore it yet, so... We're going to wait on that. We're going to wait to do Wine Wars again. Because I'm going to want more money for that. And I'm pretty sure that's all going to be stuff to...
Yeah, it's probably gonna be stuff that I can put in the. Put in the vineyard. God, I couldn't think of the word. Oh yeah, we'll do. Manticore, Griffin, Ursine. Definitely doing this. Gotta go all the way over here. Okay, this is gonna be a fun ride. We'll stop along the way for anything else. But yep, that's the destination. Roach. There you are, Roach, over here. Actually, cut down the time a little bit. Oh, I have a dog. Cut down the time by going straight to the cockatrice in. Okay. Not gonna run that entire way. That's not Roach. You're a Roach. It's so quiet. Because again, there's no music playing. Where is... I'm gonna put the custom marker right there. Just so I don't pass by it. Damn it. Not so fast, Roach. Damn it, what? Was Faster. he saying that for this? Oh god, it's... These weird dogs. Bargeist? Whatever they're called. Good god. Keep on going. One down. Two down. Three down. Where'd you go? Four down. Oh, it's just a body. Neil Poyer's farewell letter, Ducal Guard Captain's Boots. What does the farewell letter say? Now I know life is perfect, life is excellent, life is full of magic, beauty, possibility, and drama. Surprises, numerous surprises. You, father, are also in for a surprise. You did not wish for your son to become an actor. You chose another home for him, the army. So your son has a surprise for you. His feet will never touch the ground again. He will never again taste life's beauty. And you, father, soon you must reach up to your son's hanging corpse and take the sack full of crowns for which you sold his life to butchers. Okay. Yeah, I knew it was a suicide note, but... Someone needs an escort. Not something I do often, but might be worth investigating. That's sad. That's really sad, actually. Roach, where'd you go? I gotta repair stuff. Okay. 
God, you ran so far away, Roach. Oop, I'm so off track right now. Not even sure where the road is. Did I just step over a cat? I did step on a cat. Warning. Announcement. I meant to read that warning. Oh well. Work for a wench. Probably from countryside. She should be redheaded. Okay. The monster of Tufo. And mysterious plummeting cattle. Somebody's cow tipping. Oh no. Falling from the sky. What? Oh, okay. There are cows falling from the sky. Sounds like a personal problem. You okay? I'm just gonna steal from you real quick. Hope you don't mind. Bye. The bovine blues, that's what it's called. Where's the marker for this town, though? Ooh, there's the pub. It's probably gonna be up here then. Come on, Roach. Go into the pub. Everybody, get out of my way. This is actually popping. Innkeep. Gwent. Greetings, sir. What is it you need? Mm, had wine on my mind all day. What kind? Red? White? Rosé? Dry? Semi-dry? Sweet? How heavy? What appellation? Mm, I'll need to think about it. Tell me something about the area. Tell me something about the area, would you? What's there to tell? That the master of these lands, Monsieur de Bobo, is the greatest buffoon in all Tucson? Really? <laughs> Thanks. Keep an eye out in that case. Show me what you got behind the counter. Got behind the counter. She has really nice red eyes. I just noticed. Well, I'm going to end up selling some of these things anyways. Just that uh, the, the Ophiri stuff was from Hearts of Stone, so I don't want to get rid of that. We're going to play Gwent, though. Gwent. Maybe we could play around. Don't worry about all the paying customers behind me. We're going to play a game of cards. Get rid of a vampire. Get rid of clear weather. Yeah, just play the elf. I shouldn't have done that first. Why did I do that first?
That did quite a bit. She's just playing all of her hero cards now. <laughs> Yeah, the best thing to do. Put it there. Wasn't the best thing to do. <laughs> Yep, and I pass. And I win. Same Geralt of Rivia just kicked your ass. And I got Cirrus. Back here. Worker. I thought I said Witcher. I was like, okay. Talking about the contract I just took. Sure. Your sure. Yeah, because once you take your contract, then the people around so fast, Roach. we'll start talking about it giving you little clues there's the marker flow vive 